So what do I pack to wear? What do I need? Do I need formal? Do I need casual? Does, do, do we need to have dinner jackets? What do we need to take to go on a cruise with MSC? I'm Jan Obridge, I'm the cruise queen. So what do you need to take to wear on MSC cruises? Well, first of all, MSC is like most cruise lines these days, going a little bit less prescriptive. When we first started cruising like 15, 16 years ago, uh, which I know is not long in the big scheme of things, but we were late starters. Um, we had to wear formal. You had to wear a dinner jacket on a formal night. If you didn't have a dinner jacket, guys, you had to hire one. They had rental places uh, on board, but um, but it's not like that anymore. And uh, on MSC cruises, they have during one week, a seven night cruise, you will have two what they call elegant nights. These are on other sh cruise lines, maybe called formal nights or gala nights. And these are the nights where the waiters have bow ties, the, the, the um, the, the concierge and, and the um, and all of the, all the staff, everyone on the ship dress in the bars or wet bow ties. So it's all they're all beautifully dressed for elegance. And a lot of the guests dress. We do. My husband wears a DJ, which I love, and uh, and, and I would sacrifice to have that extra weight in my luggage because I love to see him dressed up. He, he sometimes our uh, colours coordinate his bow tie coordinate it's my dress but not always um, but yeah we love it I like to wear a long dress in fact I dress every night almost every night I have a long dress or at least a cocktail length dress every night um, so but that's me a lot of people don't some guys don't even take a jacket I would be disappointed if my husband didn't well I wouldn't let him quite honestly he dresses or he don't come <laughs> No, not really, but yeah, that's kind of, I, I just love to see him dressed up. And if I'm going to make the effort and wear a long dress, I want him to make an effort too. But a lot of guys don't. A lot of guys just wear a, a smart shirt and, and slacks. Um, but there are, are quite a few people that do dress. Ladies particularly, you will find them dressed up. Not all of them are wearing floor length dresses. Some are wearing cocktail length dresses, like half length or just below half length. And that's fine. For me, uh, like I said, I like either of those and I do like to dress. I, I love my shoes. I have some wacky shoes and high shoes. So I, I do tend to kind of overpack when it comes to shoes. But if you want to save some space, what I did when I went on the 24 night cruise that I mentioned before, I took five pairs, which for me is not a lot um, for 24 nights, and I created outfits around five pairs of shoes or maybe four um, and, and flip-flops. So you'll need fl some flip-flops. You'll need some sandals. You'll need some comfortable shoes for walking in. My sandals are very comfortable. I don't tend to take trainers, but some people do. Um, I, I'm very comfortable in either my flip-flops or my sandals um, to walk around ports and stuff. And But take something comfortable. You need to be comfortable when you're walking around because there is a lot of walking when you come off, off the ship and go ashore, a lot of walking. Um, Elegant nights, like I said, there are two. Some people don't even come to the main dining room for elegant night. They don't want to dress up, they go to the buffet. I would say, don't do that. If you want to be in the main dining room, just go to the main dining room. No one is going to throw you out unless you're wearing holy jeans and a, and a vest, guys. And, you know, ladies, if you're, you know, if you're coming really scruffy, that might be different. But generally, if you, you know, you, you, you dress normally, they will not throw you out of the main dining room. So it's up to you. For me, I like to, I like to have a different dress. I pack around my formal clothes. So I'll, I'll, I'll bring two lots of outfits for formal night. I bring um, four other dresses, which makes it six. And then I usually have a trouser outfit or two um, for the first and last night, depending. So I like to have a little bit of flexibility. Um, and so, but that's just me.
Now, I know some people that take one pair of good shoes that they can wear every night. That's perfectly fine. Nobody's going to be worried about what you're wearing. Now, for the daytime, I usually have a couple of pairs of shorts and some little spaghetti tops and a, a, a shirt that I can wear as an overshirt, a couple of shirts I can wear as an overshirt, which just keeps my shoulders co covered if I'm indoors or if I go off and, uh, you know, it's not that warm or I want to keep my shoulders covered if I'm going places where I'm not sure the culture and so on. So I do that. I'll also make sure in my bag I've got a couple of cardigans so that I can slip that on um, or, or hoodies that I can slip on if I am a bit chilly because, you know, weather is weather. Sometimes it gets chilly. Um, and, uh, but I, and I also make sure that I've got um, some stuff that I can definitely go ashore in. So I'll have some capri pants, uh, like I said, shorts. Sometimes I will I wear my shorts, sometimes capri pants with the tops. Then I also have um, some uh, bikinis, a couple of bikinis and uh, some wraps. I have um, shawls that I wear over my dresses. I don't like to show my arms. Now I'm getting older, it all needs ironing, so I don't like to really show my arms much. So um, I, I usually have a wrap um, that goes over a, a short sleeve or a no sleeve dress. And I've got some nice ones. Uh, a couple of them I picked up on a cruise. Um, it wasn't MSC, but uh, you know, it was another cruise line and uh, and these were available and they were $10 and I just love them. They're so useful. They're very fine and they just slip on and um, and, and they don't slip off, which is great. So um, uh, I, I use those. I make sure I've got those. I have a warm one just in case I need to go outside or um, it's a little chillier. Usually the air conditioning is not so high that you need to have something warm, but it's also not really hot. So if, and I do get a bit cold, so I always have a warm wrap that I can put on just in case, or a jacket. I've got some sparkly um, like sequin jackets that sometimes I'll wear those. Um, and so for the most part, that's it. I, I have my wrap that I wear. If I'm going by the pool, I just wear those all day. And, uh, and that's that. So you don't need to take loads and loads of stuff. The men, I mean, my husband could pack in a, in a hand luggage bag and apart from his tux and he'd be fine. Takes a couple of white shirts, one to wear each time and it's, it's bow ties and stuff um, and waistcoat, which is, uh, he's got now a um, couple of pairs of slacks, pair of jeans and some shorts and swim trunks and that's him done some t-shirts so he doesn't take a lot. He's got his flip-flops and uh, his pair of shoes and his formal shoes and that's it. So he's he's sorted so <laughs> whereas me I you know I like to make sure I've got plenty of stuff but you don't have to do it you don't have to dress you don't have to go to the main dining room you don't have to wear a tuxedo you don't have to wear a jacket you don't have to wear a long dress you can dress pretty much how you would dress if you were going to a decent restaurant in the UK uh, however you would dress to go to a decent restaurant that's uh, the main dining room dress. So I hope this has been useful. If it has, hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so I can send you notice of when I'm going to post again. I'm Jan Overidge. I'm the Cruise Queen. Hope you have a brilliant week. Bye. <music>